I have been asked absolutely countless times on how to measure out for new wheels, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I measure it out for my new Heritage wheels. The first couple of things you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration is that the overall width and diameter of the wheel is not quite as it says. The width of this wheel is 11 and a half inches. Now when we measure the overall width, it's about 12 and a half inches. So that's an inch over what my actual width of the wheel is. So from my understanding, the width that they actually measure is the inside of the lips. And so measuring, it's right at about 11 and a half inches. Even though this is a 20 inch wheel, the overall diameter of this wheel is about 21 and a half inches, maybe a tad smaller. So that's another thing you have to take into consideration when measuring out for your wheels. And this is pretty much the same for every single wheel you're gonna get. The overall width is gonna be about an inch wider than it is, and the overall diameter is gonna be about an inch and a half taller than it is. Now that you have a little bit of an understanding of the actual dimensions of a wheel, you can go ahead and start to measure out for your wheels on your car. You're gonna wanna go ahead and measure the overall height of your vehicle so you can try and replicate that when the wheel is off the car. Um, and I did that just by taking a tape measure, measure from the ground, and the topmost point of the fender. Next thing you do is we're gonna go ahead and raise this car, take this wheel off, and we're gonna put a jack under this spindle so we're actually able to adjust the height to get it as close to where it is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and take this jack, we're gonna put it under the spindle and try and replicate the uh, same ride height as it had with the original wheel and tire. Now that the car is actually sitting where it would be with the wheel and tire, we can measure out for what diameter wheel we would want. Now knowing that the overall diameter is actually an inch and a half taller than what we want, now whenever we measure out for our wheel, we're gonna have to take that into consideration. Whenever I measured up for my wheels, what I did is I took my overall diameter of the wheel, which is 20 inches, added that inch and a half, and then divided it by two. Now using the center point of your hub as a reference point, you can use your ruler and put it to about 10.75 inches, and that's gonna give you the overall height of your wheel. For those of you who don't know what diameter you want, you can just go ahead and play it around with it. Uh, obviously doing some simple math, you can measure out, see how tall, you know, making sure that you always add that inch and a half and then divide by two, you can see how big of a diameter of a wheel you want. Um, and so that's pretty much it for that much. Um, and now moving on to with an offset, um, mostly the inner barrel is really quite easy to measure out for. You pretty much just measure out for how big of a barrel you can use. Make sure that whenever you measure out for it that you always add that extra half an inch for the uh, lip of the barrel. Like I had actually uh, forgotten whenever I did my rears and that's why they were rubbing. Uh, obviously I can clear for that and that's not an issue for me, but for most people who don't wanna do any modifications to their car, you're gonna wanna make sure that you add that extra half an inch for the lip of the barrel. Now moving on, we're actually gonna go ahead and start measuring out for the width of our wheel and the offset. We're gonna use this triangle to help visualize and measure out how far our wheel can stick out from the hub. Now whenever I measured out from my wheels, I said that this measurement was three and a half inches. Your actual overall width is gonna be that measurement out from the hub to your fender, plus whatever uh, size barrel you want. And then so after uh, measuring out for that, I said that I wanted an 11 and a half inch wide wheel. I know this is all kind of confusing and I'm just trying to explain this as best as I can. Now we're gonna go on to uh, measuring for your actual offset. And because I live in the United States, everything that I measured out is in inches. Whenever you measure out for actual offset, everything is in millimeters. And this is just for my rear one. Obviously it's gonna be different for your front one. You're gonna completely measure that one all by itself independently of the rear one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit more, uh, explain it in a different way so you guys can kind of understand it, hopefully understand it further. All right, so here we're gonna have the overall width of the wheel and we're gonna just say that's X. Uh, the overall height of the wheel doesn't really matter. This right here represents where our hub is. Uh, this measurement here is just gonna be, let's say Y, and that's the measurement of how far in our uh, barrel can go. And then this measurement here is how far our essential lip can go and that'll just be Z. The next thing to do is to take X 
and we're gonna divide it by two, and that is whatever this whole length is divided by two, let's just say it's 10 to make it easy. So let's say your overall wheel is a 10 inch wheel divided by two is gonna be five, right? However much space you have from the hub out is gonna be three inches, that would be five minus three equals two. So then your offset would be two inches. And then obviously you wanna create, or you wanna convert that two inches into centimeters and then that would be your ET. Well, that's gonna be it for today, guys. I really hope this helped you out. Obviously, uh, I'm no professional at this. If you guys have any discrepancies in what I said, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. Uh, just, we really wanna just help this community as much as possible and I really just hope this video helped you guys out in measuring correctly for your wheels. And anyways, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out.